It's incredible. Uh, nobody said anything. Nobody did anything. And the San Jose Sharks, that's a hockey team, woke up and chose violence on Twitter for absolutely no reason at all. We're not even in the Lavender People Month. They said, you know what? We're just going to tweet this because why not? Here's what they tweeted. Worldwide, gender diversity is seen far differently than that in the Western world, or as you may know it. Most of us are familiar with the male, female, and transgender labels, but in other cultures, the existence of the third gender, or even the fourth and fifth genders, is common. They go on. The mux gender is a respected third gender in Zapotec cultures in Mexico that has existed for centuries. Guna are those who were born as men but who identify as women and are attracted to men. The Gui are those who were born as men and are attracted to other men. Here's the source. It's a book called Living in Modern America by Sarah Salam. There you have it, guys. The San Jose Sharks having their Twitter apparently taken over by Dylan Mulvaney. Why can't we have nice things? Why can't we have nice things? Why can't we have? Oh, I know why. Because niceness uh, is classist, racist, and a sexist social structure. I just learned that. How could I forget? This is why we can't have nice things. This is why the San Jose Sharks, the people that are just a hockey team, not a good one, by the way. Maybe this is why, giving them some attention because they can't win games. They think, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do what everybody does when they're a loser. We just, we're going to lean into wokeness. And then we're going to be remembered for that. We're going to be remembered for being crazy. And we're going to find a community, community of lavender people who love us. And I don't know that the lavender people love hockey games. I don't know if they like people being beaten over the head with sticks and if they're into that brutality. But maybe they do. Maybe this will attract them to the San Jose Sharks. Maybe this is just a, a glorious PR marketing strategy. Maybe it's not. If you have not been following this story, they extended this by wanting their players to wear Pride Night jerseys during their warm-ups. So they were like, let's just be super gay. And we're going to be super gay by being Pride Sharks. And one player, the goalie, James Reamer, declined to wear the Pride Night jersey. And this caused a huge stir in this hockey community. Here is what he said about why he did not want to put on this jersey. Take a listen. I have no hate in my heart for, for anyone. Uh, I've always strived to treat everyone with uh, respect and, and, and kindness. Um, in this specific instance, I'm personally choosing not to endorse something, um, you know, a sexual identity or orientation that is counter to my convictions, which are based in the Bible, um, which I consider the highest authority in my life. I strongly believe um, you know, I feel like I couldn't reiterate that enough. I strongly believe that, that every person has value in life, um, or sorry, value in worth. Um, you know, you guys, um, my teammates, everyone, uh, I strongly believe that every person has value and worth uh, in, in people in this community. Um, and the LGBTQIA plus community, like all others, should be welcome in all aspects. Um, of the game of hockey. He couldn't have given a more perfect statement. He essentially says, I'm not going to engage in this. I'm not going to put this on me. Why would I put this on me? Why would I celebrate transgenderism, right? Why would I be forced to put to play hockey? It's been playing for over a decade. Why is this a new requirement, right? But he then does something even more brilliant by acknowledging, because of course, they would have said, this is a threat to my existence if you don't wear what I want you to wear. If it means that you don't think I have a right to exist. Instead, he says, no, you, you very much do exist. Everybody has a right to be at this game, but I also have a right to my Christianity and I have a right to my beliefs. And I don't understand why this is even happening across the sports community. Why, why are they forcing players to... Could you imagine, by the way, if there was a gay player anywhere that was forced to wear the cross around his neck and to recite, I don't know, the rosary? Imagine if they do this. If they just said, hey, it's, it's Jesus week, and we are forcing all players to recite the rosary and to read verses from the Bible, um, uh, just condemning people that are gay, telling you that you're going to go to hell for sodomy. There would be outrage. But there's no outrage when this is done in reverse to Christians. There's no outrage when you are making them, via wearing something, say something that they know is not true, Right? That's just considered wokeness. That's considered diversity and equity and inclusion when it's anything but. It is the exclusion of, the, of, the, of Christianity, 
right? It is excluding people and punishing them for their Christian beliefs. And it's despicable. But I don't know. That's what they're doing. So if you're a San Jose Shark fan, you might want to reconsider. Gay, gay, shark, do, 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 do. Gay, gay, sharks, do, 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 do. I hope that becomes a chant at their games. No, I don't because I like that guy. I think he's amazing. And I don't think it's funny to chant gay, gay, shark, do, 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 do. I do a little bit. You know what to do? Click the link in the description and subscribe right now. And be sure to come back tomorrow because we will have a brand new episode. And allegedly, Trump is going to be getting arrested. So we'll see whether or not any of that comes to fruition.